Material synthesis is done at first as a mean to discover new compounds. And then those compounds are taken, their properties measured, and eventually somebody figures out that those properties could be taken advantage of in uh, using them for applications. So when you reach in your pocket for your cell phone, you have to think the 2007 Nobel laureates who discovered an effect that's called giant magnetoresistance. And that giant magnetoresistance means nothing else but you can tune the magnetic properties of a certain material with a very small amount of current in inducing a big change. The consequence of that practically is that you can store a lot of data in a very small volume of a certain material. So the reason why our computers these days and the cell phones are so small and yet so powerful is in part thanks to uh, the discovery of this effect, giant magnetoresistance, which uh, of course was recognized with the Nobel Prize, if I'm not mistaken, about 20 years after the discovery. So it takes a while for something to be recognized and uh, employed in uh, applications, but material science does job of the baker that will combine all ingredients and the experiment and then it is for others to engineers and um, other scientists to take those new discoveries and figure out the applications.